Customer. I'll use some of this green play though and show you how the scooper works. Pretty cool, right? It makes a perfect ice cream scoop shape. Let's use the scooper again and make a sundae. That sounds delicious! Alright, we got our ice cream, and now we need the toppings. Look how real this banana looks! Bananas are definitely a must on a sundae. And what's better than one banana? Two! I want to show you guys some more toppings. Here's a chocolate heart wafer. And look at this yummy sweet treat. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Some Disney toys here, and today I'm doing a special Thanksgiving craft. We're gonna be making some DIY turkeys. All we need is some colored Play Doh and a few other tools. We need tan, brown, red, light orange, yellow color, orange, black, white, and green. And a rolling pin if you have one. Some tools to cut with, and some paper clips. The first thing we're gonna make is a turkey. We just take some tan Play Doh and roll it up. This will be the body. And then we take a little bit more tan Play-Doh and roll it up too. That'll be the head. It goes on just like this. But to secure the head, we take one of our paper clips and open it up completely. Then we're gonna fold it in half. Careful not to poke yourself. Once it's folded in half like this, we just poke it through the bottom There it is! And that's where we're going to place the head. Now it's nice and secure. But what's a turkey without its feathers? We'll take some red Play-Doh. And then we roll it out. That looks good. And then I'm gonna use this cutting tool. But really, you could just use anything, even a plastic knife. Now we're gonna cut some feathers. I'm gonna do mine in a rounded shape, but you could definitely do pointy feathers or whatever you want. Here's our first layer of feathers. And for the second layer, I'm gonna use this orangey yellow Play-Doh.
I'm gonna place my red layer on top as a guide. This new layer is gonna go right behind the red layer. These colors always remind me of Thanksgiving. Now for our third layer, we'll use this bright orange color. We just do the same thing and roll it out. Place our other feathers on top as a guide. And there we have it. We just place it right behind the others. And then we take our turkey and stick it behind it. Now it's starting to look like a turkey, isn't it? It still needs some eyes. We'll roll up a little bit of white Play-Doh. And a tiny bit of black Play-Doh. That'll be its pupils. We stick the white on first. And then the black right on top. Oh, I think it's turning out pretty cute. It still needs a little beak. We'll use a little bit of orange Play-Doh and shape it into kind of a cone shape. Just like that. And as a final detail, you know how turkeys have that little red thing next to its beak? We're gonna be making that too. We just shape a little bit of red Play-Doh into kind of like a teardrop shape and then attach it onto its beak. Oh, it looks so cute! There's our turkey, everyone. Gobble, gobble. Pretty easy, right? And next, we're gonna be making some Thanksgiving dinner. The turkey. We take some dark brown Play-Doh and roll it up like this, just so that the back end is a little bit bigger than the front end. Next, we're gonna be making some turkey legs. We take some more dark brown Play-Doh and again, shape it kind of into like a teardrop shape where the back is bigger than the front. That looks pretty good. That'll attach on just like this. Are you guys starting to see the turkey? Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we have two turkey legs. Hmm, but our turkey leg's missing a little something. We gotta make that bone at the back. We do this by rolling up six pieces of white Play-Doh. Just a tiny bit. Then we take three of the pieces and stick them together. And then we stick the whole thing on the back of this turkey leg. Mmm, that's one good looking turkey leg. We do the same thing for the other side. And now let's stick on the turkey legs. We stick it on the larger side of our body. Now we can't forget about the turkey's wings. We take a small amount of dark brown Play-Doh and roll it up into a long cylinder shape. And then we bend it back and put it into a little point. That's gonna be the turkey's wing. We do the same thing for the other side. And now we stick it onto the small side of the turkey's body. Like this. And there we have it. Our turkey's all done. But presentation is pretty important. Let's make some greens for it to lay on. We just roll out some green Play-Doh. And then fold up the sides like this. It'll look like it's laying on a bed of lettuce. Sitting around the table and having turkey with my family and friends is one of my favorite parts of the holidays. And dinner is served. Since we have some Play-Doh left over, let's make some pumpkins. We just roll it up into a ball and push it down a little bit. So it has kind of a flat top and a flat bottom. And as added detail, let's take our cutting tool and make little lines around it, coming from the top to the bottom. 
We'll do that for both of our pumpkins. And of course the pumpkin needs a little stem. We'll use our leftover brown play-doh for that. We just roll it up into a little cylinder shape and then place it on top. And there we have two pumpkins. I hope you guys enjoyed these Thanksgiving crafts. It'd be a super fun activity to do with your family. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving and a happy holidays. The holidays are a great time to remember what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for all my awesome viewers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today I'm super excited to bring you another Play-Doh Town! I love these little sets! This one's an ice cream truck, and who doesn't love ice cream, right? Alright, let's get this out of here! We'll just flip this around. <laughs> Whoops! Our ice cream truck's all tangled! There we go. Now we need someone to drive the ice cream truck. So let's get the ice cream man out of here. First we have an ice cream cone, some molds, a popsicle stick, here's another ice cream cone, some green Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh, a popsicle mold, our ice cream man, and purple Play-Doh. So first things first, our ice cream man's lacking some hair. Let's give him some. First we'll use some purple Play-Doh. And I'm going to try to make it look just like the ice cream man on the box. He had green and purple hair. We'll just mold these two together and then stick it on top like this. We're going to keep repeating that step till he has a full head of hair. There you go, Mr. Ice Cream Man. The picture on the box also had some pink sprinkles, so I'm going to add that too. He looks pretty happy about his new hair, but he'd probably be happier if we got to work and made some ice cream. This top cone is actually an extruder. And the ice cream truck has a bunch of molds on it. We can make so many different types of toppings. This tray also has a bunch of molds. It goes in just like this. We should make a popsicle first. We'll start it off with some green and then purple. And then some pink. Now we insert the popsicle stick. and then fill the other side.
Now get ready to squeeze! Let's take off all the excess Play-Doh. Yum! That popsicle looks really good! Order up! Now let's make a cone. The bottom of the cone has a little square on it. And it attaches to one of the squares that's in this tray right here. Now for our swirl, I'm going to use pink and green. It'll be like mint chocolate chip and strawberry. I've never had that combination before. I love those colors together. Let's make another one, but this time with green and purple. I put a little bit of Play-Doh at the bottom of the cone so our swirl would be higher. I think that was a good idea. It's turning out pretty good. This could be grape and mint chocolate chip. This is the extra Play-Doh that was in the extruder. I'm gonna use it to make a popsicle. It'll kind of be like a tie-dye popsicle. Ooh, that turned out great. And here are two popsicles. I think our ice cream cones need some toppings though. I'm gonna use some brown Play-Doh that unfortunately didn't come with the set. I'm using it to make a pretzel. And I'm gonna use purple for this berry and red for a cherry. The red Play-Doh also didn't come with the set. Yum, that ice cream cone looks great! And for our other ice cream cone, I'm gonna use pink for a strawberry, some red for a gummy bear, and then for the candy, I'm gonna use pink for the middle, and green for the wrapper. There's our strawberry, a red gummy bear. Red gummy bears are one of my favorites. Let me know in the comments what color gummy bear is your favorite. Ah, oh, cool, this candy turned out great! We'll stick it right here. And I saw a little wafer back there. I'm gonna try to reach it. Yum, that'll add some nice crunch to our ice cream. That's if it stays on. Come back here. There we go. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today I'm super excited to bring you a Play-Doh Town set. We're gonna be delivering some pizza. Ooh, look at that moped! Here's the back of the box. I can't wait to get started. Alright, let's open the box. And this should just slide right out. Here's some yellow Play-Doh. And some green. And orange. This is our pizza slicer. And a pizza tray. It also has a single slice mold in the back. And here's our moped. It has a bunch of molds on it. I can't wait to use them. Here's our pizza box. And our pizza molds. This is our pizza delivery guy. And here's his helmet. 
because safety first. This is a Play-Doh Town catalog. If you want to see me do more Play-Doh Town playsets, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so first our pizza delivery guy needs some hair. We'll take some of the yellow Play-Doh and the green Play-Doh. And we'll mix it together, just like how his hair is on the box. Now we'll take some more Play-Doh and fill in his head. Okay, and now to make his hair, we're just going to roll this up and stick it on top like this. We just keep doing this till he has a full head of hair. Now we'll fill in his goggles. And we'll add a little bit more Play-Doh for the lenses. Now that that's all done, let's put on his helmet because it's almost time for him to deliver some pizza. But first, we have to make the pizza. We'll use some of this Play-Doh to make the crust. We'll do all six slices. Now we'll use the orange Play-Doh for the rest of the pizza. Now let's take our pizza out. Mmm, that looks good! Let's place it on our pizza tray while we make some toppings. Let's start it off with some pepperoni. Let me know in the comments what you guys like on your pizza. Now we'll make some onions. And some mushrooms. And I don't normally like sardines on my pizza, but we'll make one anyway. The wheels of the moped also have molds. We'll lay down some Play-Doh and try it out. <laughs> Whoa, it disappeared. Found it. Now that all of our toppings are done, let's place them on the pizza. Let me cut you guys a slice. This one looks good. Enjoy! The bottom of our pizza delivery guy 
also has more molds. Let's try to make a drumstick first. And here's one chicken drumstick. On his other foot, he has money. Here's a tip for you. Order up. Time to go out and deliver. We have some hungry customers waiting. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Troll Tech Ice Cream Desserts Playset. It's pretty similar to Play-Doh, so let's see how it works. The back of the box shows what accessories come to this playset, step-by-step -step instructions, and a basic color matching list. Let's open it up! Here are the five clay colors we'll be working with today. Brown, red, yellow, pink, and white. We get two popsicle sticks and a popsicle mold, an extruder, a tool for the extruder, and a play knife. We can even make our own ice cream cones. And we get this roller. This playset also provides us with this really neat tablecloth, so our play area won't get messy. I'll start by using the red color clay. Ooh, it's a lot softer than Play-Doh. To get a better popsicle, be sure to put clay on both sides of the mold. Also, place your popsicle stick inside the mold before you close it. Here's a delicious cherry popsicle! Yummy! This is perfect for the summer! Now I'll use some of this white color clay. And this pink color clay to make another delicious popsicle. Nice! This looks good too! I think I'll call this one the pink yogurt. Which popsicle do you guys like better? Time to make an ice cream cone! What do you guys think about this set so far? And how would you compare it to a Play-Doh dessert set? Here's a chocolate ice cream cone. Now let's use the extruder to make some ice cream. I'll go with vanilla. It's getting really hot these days, so I can go for one of these right now. I'll mix the brown and white clay color to make another ice cream cone. Awesome! 
awesome! Here's your classic ice cream cone. Let's see. I'll make strawberry ice cream for this one. Do you guys like the vanilla or the strawberry better? Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Animal Activities. It's the Undersea Creations. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's all the Play-Doh that they provide for us. Orange and blue, green and yellow, and we also get a red Play-Doh. Here's our octopus friend. We also get a roller. A lobster scissor. A fish mold. And a seahorse cutter. And here are some more undersea creation molds that we can play with. Let's start by using the orange Play-Doh and the fish mold. Place the Play-Doh in the mold like this. Now watch what happens. That's awesome! We can use the lobster scissor to clean the fish up. Our fish is complete! Isn't it pretty? Now let's make a shark. We'll use the red Play-Doh. Use the roller to roll out the Play-Doh. Here's our friendly shark. Now let's make a turtle. We'll use the green Play-Doh. Cool! We made a turtle! 
Now let's see what's inside this fish mold. Awesome! We can make multiple fish. Let's create some yellow fish. We have twins! Now let's make a starfish. We'll use the blue play-doh. And here's our blue starfish. He looks happy. Let's roll out this red Play-Doh. We'll make a lobster. And here's our lobster. Let's also bring out our lobster scissor. It's a lobster party. Now let's roll out the blue Play-Doh. We'll make an octopus. Here's our blue octopus. Now let's make a crab. We'll use the green play-doh for this one. And here's our happy crab. You can use the seahorse to cut up the Play-Doh. And you can use our octopus friend to clean up all your Play-Doh. Now our table is clean. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney toys here! And today we're bringing you Mundo Diner Playset. I haven't played with Mundo in a while, so this should be fun. If you look at the back of the box, you can pretty much get an idea of what we can make. I hope that kid doesn't eat that burger. Also, it looks like we could put some Mundo in the diner, turn the handle, and hopefully a burger as perfect as this comes out. Alright, let's check this out. Here's some yellow Mundo. Ooh, I like how it's cut up into little pieces. Here's the red Mundo. 
we get some instructions. I believe this is the diner. And it looks like we even get some molds. Alright, let's take a closer look at this diner. So we have a picture of the menu. It looks like this is where we put the Mundo. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the handle doesn't turn all the way. So it stops right there. Nice! Check out this little entrance right here. It looks like we can hold a good amount of people. Let's see what type of molds we got. We could make ourselves a soda to wash down the burger. A sweet pie. And of course, we gotta have the fries. Alright, let me check out this Mundo. It kinda looks like popcorn. Oh, I haven't played with Mundo in a while, so I forgot how it feels like. It has this powdery feel, and it's pretty light. It's a lot different than Play-Doh. So let me just put some of this yellow Mundo in here. Make sure I pack it in nicely. So I just made the hamburger bun. I'll use this red Mundo to make the hamburger patty. And we'll need the top of the bun, so we'll need some more yellow. You know, the box had three easy steps, but it's taking a little longer than I thought. Time to turn the handle! Oh cool! The door opens when you turn the handle! And our hamburger just ran away! Check this out! What do you guys think? I'll call this the extra cheesy cheeseburger! You can barely see the meat! Alright, I think I got this down, so let me try making another one! Order up! All these hamburgers like to roll around! I've never been to a diner where the burger runs out the door! Yum! Now this is what I call a hamburger! I'll call this the extra beefy hamburger! You know, the Mundo one's cool, but let's also try using Play-Doh! Let's see if it turns out better! Whoa, that burger was fast! Don't worry, I caught it! Oh, the Play-Doh ones look pretty cool too! These also look like macaroons! Let's compare it! Which one do you guys like better? We can't have burgers without fries, so let's get started on that! Okay, just to be safe, I'll press it down on this table. We gotta get all the detail. Ooh, check that out! There's a lot of detail in the french fries. I like how this turned out. Just like we did with the burgers, let me try testing this out with the Play-Doh. Play-Doh gets a little tricky to get out sometimes. I think the Play-Doh fries look a lot better. I'm sure you guys were all thinking it, because I was too. These look like McDonald's fries. So I'll give it a little M sign.
If I didn't know any better, these look like actual McDonald fries. The moon though has more of a pastel color, so I don't think it really works with the french fries. I'll give the Play-Doh fries a win here. Now let's battle it out with the soda. Oh, this one actually turned out pretty good. Let's see how the Play-Doh one turns out. Hmm, not as good as the fries. Let's see, if I add this M... I'm gonna say the winner of this one is Mundo. What do you guys think? 